breaking news, breaking news, breaking news that you can use. As you well know, all over social media, we've been hearing of the alleged abduction or the rather the missing of Carly Russell. Carly Russell of Alabama is said to have made a call to 911 stating that she saw a child on the expressway by themselves and that she was going to uh, assist the child see what's going on she pulled over and stops right she also was on the phone with a family member and according to the family member they lose contact and they can hear her screaming the car is then left they are on the expressway. The police are already en route at the first call. Some of her belongings are left behind. The key is still in the car. And the police say that they got no reports of any missing child. She was leaving work uh, approximately 8 p.m. This call is made a little after 9 p.m. Uh, they say she stopped at a nearby restaurant got some food and then they get this call later of course the word goes out all over social media and her pictures posted people are concerned there is an APB all points bulletin in search of Carl friends and family and loved ones are expressing their concerns you may have been one of the people who reposted have you seen her this is a missing persons report and today we find out that she's returned now according to reports she returned by banging on the, her parents door pretty hard they open it. They say that she's safe. There, there is no report. She didn't return with a child. Uh, she comes to the home by, by herself. They say they took her to the hospital to uh, be examined. Uh, there's no report of any bruise, bruises, blood, bludgeoning. She has yet to make a statement. And so we're now all waiting with bated breath to determine what happened. What happened? Two days, massive groups of people driving all over Alabama looking for this 20-year-old black woman, 25-year-old black woman. So I, I decided to do this piece this uh, this day because a neighbor actually asked me to if I would be willing to do a piece on human trafficking, and particularly particularly amongst black women. And so I did. I, I, I pulled up some information, and, and then the information I pulled up come to find that black women uh, and black girls are far more likely to be abducted than any other group of people. And so that's definitely concerning, extremely concerning. But I have some other concerns. We see that most recently, as a matter of fact, very recently in, in Florida, there's a little, the, the young six-year-old girl gets abducted by this Latino man, 36-year-old Latino man in Miami, and she fights and kicks and bites and scratches, and he has to let her go because little mama let him have it at six. Little mama let him have it. And so this is a real thing. That's just two, that's two days ago as well. Little mama let them have it in Miami. Alabama, there's a 25 year old black woman missing. 
people are pushing information all over the internet, the local news and the national news. It makes national news. It's real. Human trafficking is real. Very much so. Let me pull something up here. You all stand by. Uh, human trafficking amongst black women. I pulled it up a little early. I was looking at it. But there's some, some numbers I want to share with you. So we can just really look at how... Um, how real this is. The Congressional Black Congress did a report about black women and black girls and sex trafficking in the United States. It's a, it's a snapshot. And here's some of the things that they have to say. They say 57%, according to the FBI, 57.5% of all juvenile prostitution arrests are black children. I'm bringing that up. I'm sure they're talking about that because this is what happens with sex trafficking. These people are kidnapped and then forced to be sex workers. Through uh, a two-year review of all suspected human trafficking incidents across the country, 40% of sex trafficking victims were identified as black women. In an interview with the Urban Institute, traffickers admittedly believe trafficking black women would land them less jail time than trafficking white women if caught. There's some social economic factors in this. The social economic status is one of the top contributors in increasing the chances of sex trafficking. It says here, black girls are more likely to experience poverty than other racial counterparts. Traffickers tend to target individuals with black women uh, with low sexual ec economic status. So if you're a poor black woman, they're coming after you more likely than others. Due to unemployment, debt, and the need to provide for themselves, their children, many victims are less likely to leave the situation to make ends meet. So they have a strategy. And their strategy is sometimes people are in such poverty that they won't leave these scenarios. That doesn't make them good scenarios. It involves sexual abuse, women experience partner violence. It's, it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, trafficking and trafficker relationship. And, and, then, and then I'm going to move into where I'm going with this. Research conducted in 2012 showed that around 85% of those who bought uh, sex on the internet were white men. This is FBI research. Don't, don't, this is not me. Don't, oh, he's being racial. This is FBI. These are largely white men in the FBI, okay? Research conducted in 2012 showed that around 85% of those who bought sex on the internet were white men. In Pennsylvania, I'm broadcasting out of Pennsylvania, 22% of the arrests are for the purchasing of sex, but only 78% of the prostitution arrests were selling sex. Let me let me move on. Let me let me move forward. So my point in saying all of that is to say that absolutely positively human trafficking is a real thing human trafficking is a real thing it's a it's a thing that the black community should be really on edge about and from the response of what i saw on my timeline these last few days the black community has been really concerned. They've been talking about it, promoting it, sharing information, trying to bring this sister back. But I got questions. One, let me say that I'm I'm happy that she is back, that she's alive, that we're no longer looking for her 
And I hope if there was a child, that that child is alive and well too. But I got questions. I'm mean, just keep it 100. I have questions. I have my, I have questions because I'm just, I, I'm, I'm listening to the police reports and it just doesn't make sense to me that there's no, I, listen, uh, the, the immediately that I'm sure they ask what happened. The police had to ask what happened. Did someone take you from that location? And if so, what do they look like? What were they driving? How did you end up leaving your car with your keys and your personal items still in there and go missing for two days? Was there any funny business involved? Did a crime happen? Were you abducted is the question. That's what we want to know. Is that what you want to know? I want to know, were you abducted? Because this is a serious issue. And if she was abducted, we, sh we, we want to know because we want to know who to look for. Because we want to help because it's not over. Because we were part of the search. No matter how small or big you participated. If you just had a conversation with one person. If you just shared. If you just uh, shared on your social media. Or if you just prayed. We want to know if you were abducted so we can bring this person or people to justice. We want to know. But I have some questions. I also want to know because I want to know whether or not we've been fooled. I want to know whether or not maybe some games were being played. I want to know whether or not we got Jesse Smollett. Smollett it. You remember Jesse Smollett, the actor? The actor who had other famous people uh, uh, advocating for him, uh, um, coming to his side, supporting him, saying that we need to make sure we show support for this brother who claimed to have been uh, beat by Ku Klux Klan members in the wee hours of the morning in the middle uh, of a, 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 a while headed to a convenience store of some sorts to get something to eat and they put a noose around his neck and they had MAGA hats on in the middle of black Chicago early in the morning cold we had questions only to come to find out that it was people who knew that he planned this with, that participated in this act, fellow actors. And we won't even go beyond the rest of the mess that, that, that we came to find out with that piece. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear from you all saying I'm whatever, but I got questions. I think we all have questions. And you may say, well, well, Will Mego, you got questions. You just doubting a black woman because she's a black woman. No, I love black women. My mama's black. My sister's are black. You know? I've had beautiful relationships with black women. You know? Black woman gave me my son. Love the black woman. Absolutely love the black woman. But I'm not stupid. Not stupid. I just got questions. I'm not pointing the blame. Nope. I'm still waiting to find out like you. And you probably have the questions too. Or maybe you didn't dig that deep that you would have these questions. But I'm going to tell you why I have some questions. Let me tell you where my questions come from. One, just because I'm curious, what happened? She gets home, the police don't share anything with us, right? The police don't share with us any details after she gets home safely. No APB we're looking out for. Uh, the re reports were that maybe someone thinks they saw her with a light 
skinned male in a gray car that had pulled to the side. There's no confirmation of this, right? So that's number one. Are we still looking for this light skinned male in the gray car? She could have confirmed that. I can ask her. Just shake your head, yes or no. You may not even want to get into the details there, huh? Then there's this. This one concerned me. This is where my questions come from. This is a news report, News 3, coming out of Alabama, CBS News report, WIAT. Okay, this is what WIAT reports. So I don't want to hear anyone who you just make it up, Will Mag, I use it. No, WIAT. This is a news report. Let me see if they show the uh, reporter was specifically who was writing this piece. Uh, no, they don't give me a specific author on this, but the, uh, oh no, this is by Courtney, Courtney Chandler. All right, this is posted July 16th. That's today at 6, 12 a.m. Today, all right, that's less than, that's just four hours ago from the time of me recording this. I'm not sure what, whether, what time I'm gonna share this with you all, but it's breaking news, so you'll get it soon. As a matter of fact, while you're watching it, you know that's when you got it, right? This is what this is what Courtney Chandler writes. She says that as of yesterday, the Hoover police confirmed that Carly Russell was located safely at 10.45 p.m. Police confirmed she returned to her home, her home late Saturday night. It's 10, 12 a.m. right now. 12 hours ago, a little less than 12 hours ago, Carly returned home, people. And you woke up like I woke up this morning and started scrolling down your timeline. He said, oh, wow, she returned. Yes, safely. Yes. But I continue to read more because I'm curious. I want to know what happened. Are we, did we find the folks that did this? And I begin reading about the hundreds of folks, uh, you know, who offered her support. And, you know, they were passing around flyers throughout the community, holding prayer vigils, hoping that she would come home. And then I read this, quote, today, we just want to focus on just hope and faith and trust in God. Like that, Russell's best friend, Dakota Wyatt said. But Dakota went on. Dakota continues to say this is her best friend. That's just how we're feeling today. We're hopeful, we're faithful. God has a final say, and we're all holding on to it. Like those words, right? But then there's Kennedy Sperling, who says she's been a best friend with Russell for over 10 years. And they said that Russell bring Carly, Russell brings hope and joy wherever she goes. But she also said this. She gets up every day, loves to make other people happy, smile, and make people laugh. She's a big joker. And sometimes we're like, Carly, let's be serious. And she says, why? And she says, why to let's be serious? My antenna went up on that. My antenna went up on that because if during these moments when people are reflecting about what type of character you have and 
in these type of times, you they may be thinking we may not see you again. Let's be honest. When these things happen, we're thinking, hey, we may not see that person again. You begin to reflect about their personality, their character, the legacy they leave. She says, she's a big joker. And we say sometimes, let's just be serious. And she's like, why? Remember the Joker and Batman? Why so serious? Always playing pranks. The Joker and Batman, that is. I'm not saying that that um, this young lady is a prank player. I'm just saying, uh, Carly, I got questions, sister. I got questions. We have questions. Don't you have questions? I got questions. I, I hope that in the end, the questions that I have that may not place her in the best light if it comes to find out that she was joking are unfounded. I hope today that, listen, Will Megan, maybe you just, you, you just drew conclusions too quickly. I don't have a conclusion though. I just have questions. And when the nation, when things make national news and we know, we know, let's be honest, America, we know that when black people go missing, we normally don't get this type of treatment. There are people who are in need of this type of support and I would hate to be Jesse Smollett again. Because for my black sisters who are being abducted the most and placed in human trafficking sex camps or however it works, we can't afford for people to be walking around thinking, oh, that's just a prank. So I hope my questions are answered soon enough. I hope that this sexual abduction and human trafficking stops. And if you're someone out there who have been who has been abducted and you can contact me, you can contact me on this this YouTube channel. Let me know. I'll do my best best to help you out. That's how you're getting this content. If I can help you, I would do anything and everything I could to assist you if you've been abducted. But if this is a joke, America deserves some apologies. Black women deserve some apologies. And we deserve answers. Thank you for tuning in to Will Mega TV. Until next time, one God, one aim, one destiny.